Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Knowledge, this knowledge that we get in is going to help us get ourselves together as a nation and individually too. That's why we got to take it serious. You understand? As you learn that what? What scripture said does it, that you're not supposed to celebrate Christmas? Let me see how much you learn. What scripture said that? You know? Uh, I, I, I know, I don't know exactly the scripture, but okay. I do know the, All right. I, I do know right, the because... We got to learn this and we got to also teach it to our kids right. and tell them this is the reason why we not supposed to do this. You gotta, we got to teach our kids. This is what we got to do. Because hold on, before you get that, give me um, um, Hosea 4 and 6. Right? Oh. This is the reason why we got to teach our kids because everything that you see happening bad amongst our people is because of the lack of of understanding God's laws. Right, read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. Destroyed. We are destroyed. We in the prison houses. We can't do nothing as a people. Right? We what 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 do we own as black people? What businesses we own? Why we can't gather together? You understand? That's because we destroy. It starts where? Mentally, spiritually, we are destroyed. We can't do nothing. We can't organize as a business. We destroy. Read it again. My people are destroyed right. for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Because a lot of us, we don't have God knowledge. Our pastors, the so-called pastors in Christianity, definitely ain't giving it to us. But when we get the knowledge, brothers and sisters, we supposed to take it serious. All right, go back to the scripture, right? Read. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. So the, what is knowledge? We read it earlier. Huh? Wow. The law is knowledge, right? We destroy for lack of knowledge. We destroy, the captain was bringing it out. We destroy, we spend all our money on these pagan holidays and we go back broke. That's one of the ways that we destroy because why? We don't get this knowledge and this law right here. Read it. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So this is the law where God say we're not supposed to celebrate Christmas. Read on. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So it's Jeremiah chapter 10. Don't forget it. Teach your son it. And you got to endorse it in your household. You understand? Because it's not no games with God. What you're learning, you got to apply. Okay, sister, we're looking forward to you coming and congregating with us. Because that's what we just read. The law said you must congregate on the Sabbath day. That's how God said to the black people, this is how you're going to unite. So you got to get the address and come in our congregation, learn the laws every Sabbath. Come on. Thus saith the Lord. Me. Learn not the way of the heathen. Everything you learn in America comes from your oppressor. Right. You celebrating Christmas, you don't want to separate from your oppressor. You claiming that you want to, that you that you fed up of the oppression, but you celebrated all the oppressive pagan days. Read on. Learn not the way of the heathen. God said, don't learn the ways of the heathen. The heathen is the other nation. Right. You learn Christmas from the heathens. You learn Valentine's. Bad days. You learn all thanksgiving. You learn that from your oppressor. Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Come on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Come on. For the customs of the people are vain. God said the customs that you learn from these other nations is all lies. That's what vain means. Come on. For one cut if they treat. So now God is explaining one of the customs of the heathen. One cut in a tree. For one cut of a tree 
out of the forest. Come on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the, the axe. And what they do with that tree that they cut out of the forest? They deck it with silver and with gold. So this is the custom of Christmas. And this is the law pertaining to Christmas that you not supposed to celebrate Christmas, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Right. We are destroyed because why? We not coming back to God laws. Right. You see that? Give me Jeremiah chapter um, 4 verse 22. All right? Well, these are the things that we supposed to do. So, you know what? Hold on and give me um, Ezra's um, 14. 13, 14, 13. Yeah. Ezra's 14, 13. Is it Ezra's or Ecclesiasticus? Get your house in order. Yeah, second Ezra. Second Ezra's. Come on. So, brother, as you learn, you got to take action. Right? You got to take action with the things you learn. You can't just, we can't just play Christianity church no more. No. I understand you learn it, but you got to stay. I understand. I got all, I got all my, I don't, I don't know the Bible is good. You right. Know what I'm saying? Like, I, I watch and I follow. You feel right. Me? I spread the word. Okay, so I see what's going on. You're really watching us, you're following. But you know what you mean? Do you, did you start congregating with the uh, congregation as yet? Did you come to our school? No, nah, this, this is my first time ever seeing y'all out here. That's why okay. I heard y'all came, came right over here. Okay, well, we're looking forward to seeing you coming to the school because that's what we're here to do, help each other. The brothers, when you come to our school, right, you're going to start learning and you're going to learn how to deal with things and they're going to help you out. We understand that's what congregating is about, right? Read that. Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Come on. Now, therefore... Now, therefore, set thine house in order. So, as you learn in God is requiring you as a man. This is what the black man is supposed to be doing right now. Getting himself right and getting his family together. But the black man today ain't care about that. He ain't even care about himself. Bring it out. He ready to live in jail. He glorify that thing. Like he don't know that the oppressors have traps set for him. He glorifying that thing. But God said, get yourself together, get your house in order. Come on. Now therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. And that's what we're doing out here. We correcting our people. This ain't hatred. God said, get your family in order. Right. Like for example, I have to make sure my wife, my children is keeping the laws. Not like a hypocrite, so I could come and correct the people and said, hey, you can't celebrate Christmas. If my wife and children was keep breaking the law, I can't come here and teach this law. That's why he said, get your house in order That's and no then you reprove your people. Right. God, the Bible says somewhere, God knows our work. In huh? order for God, God say, he said, I know thy work, like we know what we do, what yeah. we're doing. In order for me to keep my household going, I have to work on Sabbath day. So how am I supposed to? Okay. How can I handle this? I know what the Bible says. Know, but okay, yeah, I, in order to keep my house going, okay, you know. Okay, so the brother said that he works on the Sabbath, and in this captivity, right. we will find brothers in these situations where they work on the Sabbath. So, in these cases, so most I have mercy on us, but that doesn't mean that we have to just say satisfied with that. You still have to try to take in a letter. If you come and congregate with us, right. Maybe we give you a letter when you try to keep and take it in right. And, and pray to the Most High that he move your boss to let you off on the Sabbath. Because that's what happened amongst us. Sometimes some of us wake, had to work on the, on the Sabbath and then the Most High has find favor with us and let us off the Sabbath and make the boss let us off. Give me, you got it? Did y'all see where the sister, the sister, uh, told the job she don't work on Sunday. Y'all didn't see that. She don't work on Sunday. She kept scheduling her Sunday. She kept finding a replacement. She wound up suing the company. Say that again. For, for, for two, one million, two million dollars. Okay. All right, so brother, if you guys have any questions, brother and sister, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, right? What we're teaching here that we are God's chosen people, according to the Bible, right? That's your nationality. You are Israelite, according to the Bible. If your forefathers went through these curses, right? Where, where are you from? You from here? 
Right, so what we're going over right now is the Mosai laws. Because we was going over nationality, everybody understand that they are Israelites by nationality. We're not, we not just black. But God is requiring us as a nation of people to keep his laws. We was talking about the Sabbath day. We don't understand as a people that we must come to God keeping the Sabbath holy by doing the things he said to do. Because that's the only way he's going to fix our problems that we have. Right. We in poverty because we break God's laws. We at the bottom, we in jails. Look at them. We baby mothers, baby fathers, all of that because we break God's laws. I just got out of jail a few minutes ago, man. You see that? You just got out of jail. Right? Get that scripture, man. Get that scripture. Isaiah 42, 22. Right? And most of our people are in jail because they fall victim to the, 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 the system, the vicious system set for our people. Okay? Read that. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We was robbed and spoiled as a nation. And we was brought to America. And we was destroyed mentally. We don't know nothing about how to carry ourselves according to God's laws. How to raise up a family. We just live in lawless. We was destroyed from our true heritage, which is this law, this Bible, these laws. You understand? Even our nationality, we destroyed from it. This is our people. Yet they rob our nationality too. So we can't even make the connection and see that we was a holy people. We was a righteous people. Come on. They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes. A snare is a trap. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. Where God said the black and Hispanics men are? Hid in prison houses. You understand? We in jail, why? Because we break God's laws. Right. So God make our enemies get that for me. Right? To Deuteronomy 28, 48. Right? And, give, and also give me the hunter set, Zechariah 11 and um, 5. Right? Because we now keep God's laws. So right. and as long as we continue to just do the things, because who you think bring all the drugs in our community? You think is you think is is, is, is black people that, that bring the major drugs to the country and stuff like that? It's our oppressors and the guns all of that because they want to see us keep going in jail. When you go to jail, you just go. That's not and you 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 tie down and you just working for your oppressor. They want us to go. That's big business for them. You understand? Read Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-eight. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God said you're going to serve your enemies because you don't want to keep my laws. You're going to go in jail because you don't want to keep my laws. That's what happening, but we know, we ain't seeing it. We thinking like we could get away. Sometimes you might get away from the cops, but guess what? God's seen us. So your time going to come, which by he going to judge you. So that's why we got to fear God. We got to understand that I got to do what's right in God's sight because he's going to judge me and send me to jail. That's what we out here trying to tell our brothers and sisters. Right. You understand? You got to fear God because everything happening to us is because God, God is punishing us. Okay? Read that. 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them against us? Who sent our enemies against us? Was the Lord God sent them against us? They came against us, they took us out of Jerusalem. Right? We we had to run to Africa, actually. Right? Come on. What's your name, my man? Drake. Huh? Drake. Drake? What about you? Joseph. Joseph? What about you? What's this? My name is Gloria. Gloria, okay. Listen, this girl. Are you just saying you're coming from jail, right? The first time you've been to jail? How many times? Probably like eight or nine. How many times? Yeah. I still keep going back. You understand? What is the problem by going to jail? Me not learning from the last mistake. Me not learning from the last mistake. What about you? You ever been to the system? More than one time too? So what is the problem with that? I always keep going back. What about me? Huh? Yeah. What about me? Yeah. What about you? I've been in jail over 20 times. Yes, so what's your problem? That's to keep on going back. And my, I ain't been back. You don't be back? Okay, I so watch it. Come on, listen. When we as a people, there is changes. 
Okay. You understand? But who wants to make the changes? Can I say yes. something, sir? Yeah. I came right here because I'm listening to y'all over there. Right. The ch making a change. Right. You gotta trust in God. How oh, can we trust in God? Have you ever seen God before? No, sir. But so I got how you gotta trust in God? Okay, you not let me finish, sir. I want you to finish, but you said you gotta trust in God, so I wanna know why. I don't I know. Don't. What is y'all Muslim? Or we look like a Muslim? No, I don't Do know. Do you know the attire of a Muslim? Sir, I'm just asking a question. No, that's what I'm saying. But okay, I'm going to say my testimony with all of y'all like him. Yeah. My, what I can say, mm -hmm. that I made the first step. Mm -hmm. By, hey, me, man, not going, uh, by me not going to jail, uh -huh. my mind was transformed to think right and do the right thing, sir. Mm -hmm. And yeah. give back to my community, sir. Okay, so you ready to do the right thing? Yes, sir. How, how you gonna do that? No, this is a hat, sir. I no, can no, take no, out no, this. No, no. Put on your hat. Put it on back. No, I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Because you on the mic. And I'm a woman. So now, listen. And I, I believe in all this. Listen, 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 I hear you. We are here to give you the solution. Come on, I need it. You ready? Give me Psalm 119. Please get it, tell me. Bring it up. I need it. Hey. Obviously, obviously. Send them over here. Send them over here. Come on. Oh, I, yes. can, I can repeat. I can repeat that. Do song you ready for changes? Come on. You say, am I ready for changes? Yeah. In my heart, um, I am. Yeah. Repeat, listen. In my heart. Listen. My last heart. time I hear a news that was talking about Martin Luther, Malcolm. Right. You understand? All right. Some of the people them said they're oh, tired, right, tired of marching, yeah, tired of marching. Yeah, yeah. They march to change, yeah. no change, correct? Right, so watch right, this, right. read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse Come 9. On. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his wife? So it said, we are with to all can a young man or a young woman change. Change. You understand? Yeah. From being a, a, a gunman, gangbanger, sisters, change from being a whore. You understand? That. These are the things. Come on, watch yeah, this. Come, come on. on. By taking heed. There are two according to thy word. So now, you said you want changes. Yeah. Do we ever take this Bible serious? Bring yes. It out. Before? Bring it out. I do. What do you always say about the Bible? I take the Bible serious. Do you take the Bible serious? Yes, sir, I do. Do you have kids? I got 12. You have uh, three kids, sir, and three down. die, and calm nine down. Calm down. Calm down. Do you ever teach them according to the Bible? My kids now, they the one who passed away. I'm Bible. asking you, the, the one who's been alive, do you ever taught them according to the Bible? I try to, sir. Okay, give me, you know what I'm Give me your number four. Because you just said, you just said, yes, all right? You said you have 13 kids. Yeah, I got three kids, nine, nine living. Nine I got, living. I got three deceased. Okay, watch this. Come on. Come oh, on, come on. Uh, six verse seven? Give me six verse seven. Come on with it, oh, bro. This. I like you. So now, I like you too. Yeah, you, understand? you you bring it Watch what this. I need to do. Come on. Look at Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. So now, the Bible said when you have kids, you right. have to teach, teach them, them diligently. Which way to go? Just come in the house and say, get over here, sit down there. No, you no, have no. to teach them diligently. Yeah. That's their lesson. Yeah. And learn. learn. You understand? Come on, read. Yeah. Come on, come on. Unto thy children. Unto? Unto thy children. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. So when you sit down in the house, don't just leave the kids around the computer or around the television for five, six hours. Yeah. And all day close. Yeah. While they're playing games and all these things. No, don't That's take it. That's you sit in the house, spend time. Come on now, bro. Don't do that. Because I know if you teach, if your parents teaching you the laws from kids growing up, you've been to jail five or six times, bro. And now, I've been the only time you're supposed to be to jail, maybe, you don't pay the card, the, 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 what? the registration, the card, you get pulled over, they say you have to sit for a few days. Facts! No, if you need to vote for doing jobs, over and over, get card over and over, you understand? That's, that's, that's showing you that the first time, it didn't take learning, second time, right. it didn't take learning, right. third time, right. 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 the most I'm looking at you like you're a dumb child, son. You understand? For real, watch this, come on. Come and on. when thou walkest by the way, uh -huh. and when thou liest down, and when thou rises up. Brother, listen, 
Brother, listen, look. Do you have a fly? Yeah, I got it. You understand? Yes, sir. The greatest thing in heaven yet ah, in your lifetime is that information and the, uh, the paper. I promise you, if you put it to use, you're going to be a different man. Right. Plus, you and you, I'm telling you straight up, if you just take time, you understand? Check it out for yourself. You're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. You understand? You're going to stop right here. Come on, read. Verse 8. And shall bind them up for a sign upon thy head. So now, when you have money, what do you do with it when you have it in your hand? No. If you have some money and you have it in your hand, what do you do with it? Spend. I try to show you love. You bind it in your hand, right? No, I try to show love to other people. That's why you don't have nothing. Boy. That's why you do not have nothing. You understand me? For real. Give me a word when you seek a friend and give to who you give not. Give me that. Can I say something? That's what my home will tell me. When I got money and I give to people, that's why I don't have nothing. Listen, the last time I checked, we came to America. Listen, listen, listen. Turn around. Turn around, says. We came to America, right? I'm still in Pastor And when they promised us, they promised us for the eight and some new. Do they give it to you? No. Correct? Do they give it to you? Do they, do they not give it to you, right? So. They promise us, so why you have your money where you work so hard, uh, 9 to 5, still in slavery, now you can get away. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.